It's your boy YL from the 317. You already know what it is, man. Welcome back to the Game Banger channel. We focus out, focus on hanging out those games and getting that money, man. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, join the family, join the Beacon Gang, man, so you can stay updated on shit like this. Today's a good day for Safe Moon. It's been a bad couple of days, nah. But today's a good day, man, because we successfully have something tangible, and that's the Safe Moon wallet. The Safe Moon wallet is out. But here's the kicker it's only out on Google Play right now at the moment. Like we said in another video, man, Apple is the wild card. So Apple is going to, you know, not slow down the train. They're just going to stop some people from getting a wallet until they figure it out. You feel what I'm saying? So right now it's just for Android, Google Play. Um, if you, Kevin Gates, you got two phones. Hopefully one of them is an Android. And you can download this bad boy and get started with trading, buying and selling safe moon, whatever you want to do. Actually, before I say buying and selling safe moon, because I only looked at it for a little bit. I don't even think you can sell on the wallet just yet. If I'm not mistaken. Y'all let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna double check. I do not believe. Let me sign in. I do not believe there's a sell button or a buy button. And um, I think that's soon to come. But yes, you cannot buy or sell. What you can do is swap and transfer and then sell for fiat on something else if you want to, um, if you want to sell. But it's the wallet. It is what it is at this moment. It's something tangible. And what you can do is swap Ethereum. You can buy Ethereum on the wallet, swap it for a P Safe Moon on the wallet, and you can keep it there. You can send it out to your trust wallet if you want. You can do whatever you want. But at this precise moment, there is no specific like take your credit card and buy Safe Moon. Not yet, but it is coming. Um, and I think there's reasons why it's not like that yet. Um, for one, they wanted, again, the team needed to stop the bleeding. They needed to get something tangible out to the people so they can feel success again, feel what it's like to win. Because, you know, they, these people today, they, they, they don't cook on the stove. They don't, they don't grill. They put everything in the microwave because they want it right now. So Safe Moon had to do something to stop the bleeding. I think what they did was good. They still made it easier to get the coin. It's still easier than using Trust Wallet, Pancake Swap, going somewhere else to buy BNB, sending it over. It's still easier. So it is making it easier for people to buy Safe Moon or obtain Safe Moon, um, which is still good for the community. And it's something to stop the bleeding. If we look at the, the price we saw before they tweeted, They've been tweeting for the last, it's been about an hour now, roughly. So it was prior, prior to this, we, we dropped down to the one, zero, five zeros followed by the one three level. Then boom, the tweet came out, the price went up. If you bought in on that dip, you, you did good. You did good. Um, I honestly thought it was going to continue to dip because I honestly thought that you know, even though they did the resubmission and all that, I just felt like it was going to be a couple of days, maybe this weekend before more news about the wallet came out. But nah, they had they said we got to stop the bleeding now. Price shot up for basically six percent, and that's the nature of the beast, man. I be trying to tell all the fudders, man. You complaining about the dip, then you let it slip. Like how that happened? How you gonna complain about the dip? You well aware, and then you let it slip, like. I don't get it, but that's it for this video, man. Just a quick update on the wallet is here for Android users. The price is going, recovering slightly because of the news. Um, and hopefully Apple follows suit, you know, quickly. Hopefully they tweet this weekend, hey, resubmission for Apple. By next week, we get an Apple approval. Wow, I think that would be great. I don't think, though... This squeeze is going to happen because of this. Like people say the wallet would be, well, uh, as it stands today, I feel like if you can buy SafeMoon directly without doing all the extra stuff, even though it's super simple, but the, like, trust me, there's people who, who this is their first coin they're buying. 
So we can't expect them to be swapping and knowing what the hell the slippage and all that. They're going to be still head spinning. I believe, in my opinion, when it becomes a simple credit card to safe moon type of transaction, that's when we'll see the squeeze that everybody's talking about. But that's just my opinion. Could be wrong. But before we leave out, man, like I always say, I should have had this in a different order. If you're scared, go to church. If you don't want to invest money because you're scared, it's okay. I understand. We got something for you. It's the Pi Network, man. You can mine a coin from your phone. All you got to do is get people to join your network. Every day you check in. And as you check in, you let the network know that you're a human being and that you want to continue to mine. And they give you Pi every day for doing so. If you want to mine at a higher rate, you got to get people in your network. How do you get people in your network? You simply go up to your mom. You download the app on her phone. You tell her every time I tell you to mine, you fucking mine. All right. Then you go to your dad. Hey, dad, what's up? Nothing much. Give me your phone. Uh, you download the Pi Network on the phone and you tell your dad, hey, every time I tell you to mine, you fucking mine. All right. And then you go, you know, to your cousin's house, aunties, whoever. You get everybody, hey, real quick, I, I just want to put your phones, put your phones where I can see them, put them in the bucket. All right. This is a stick up. And then you just go through everybody's phones, you download the apps, and you let them know when I tell you to freaking mine. You freaking mind. All right. That's that's how you build your network. You can I, I know you know 10 people. All right. I know you know five people. I know you know six people, right? That's how you build your network. Simple. Um, and that helps you mine at a higher rate. Another thing I got for y'all, man, for, for those who have vehicles, right? And me, I, I like to Uber when I can. I'm actually about to Uber after this video, man. Get some bread, see if I can catch a dip or so. You feel me? See if I can catch a dip or so. But Get Upside, man, is basically a simple app where you can track the local gas stations that are participating with this app. And when you go in there and spend money on gas, something that you're going to do anyways, you get cash back. Now, I have about six transactions on my, on my uh, Get Upside right now. About six or seven transactions, about 13 bucks, right, of cash back. So we're, we're looking at maybe like, you know, 100, 100 something dollars where I got 13 bucks back just for checking in with this app. You feel me? And this is something that you can just let build up, build up, build up, build up. Again, you're going to be spending gas anyway. So every time you fill up, and I don't even be filling up. I'm putting 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, I'm not filling up all the time. I'm, I'm doing here and there. If I got a 10 on me and I'm like, hey, here's the 10 for you. You know what I'm saying? If I got a 20 on me or if I feel like filling up every now and again, I might, but I don't even fill up every time. So if you're filling up every time, you're going to get more money back because you basically get 10 cents per gallon, 3 cents per gallon, 5 cents per gallon back. So essentially when you go there and you see the gas price, you're getting a discount for using this app and that discount, that money is put back into your account. It's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope um, in my opinion, but those are the treats I have for you, man. I appreciate y'all. If y'all stuck through to the end, you got some treats there. If you're scared, go to church. You can mine pie for free. If you drive your vehicle a lot, you can get cash back. I got the links in the descriptions. Don't worry. Make sure you use them because if you use them, for one, you jump onto my network. Now I'm in your network. You got two people in your network. For two, if you use this one, you feel me? You use my referral. I get a little something back. So you basically like, oh, right on, bro. You plug me with this app. I'm going to give you a little something back. But it don't come out of your account. It comes from them. You feel me? So that would be great if you did that. But that's it for this video, man. It's your boy, YL from the 317. Be out. If I can find a motherfucking button.